the employment relationship doesn't change. Same rights and responsibilities between an employer and an employee. There are just a small handful of legal issues we have to think about when transplanting the employment relationship from the office to the home. Employers have a duty to provide workers' compensation insurance. It'd be a really good idea if they made sure they checked with their brokers or their carriers that that insurance it will be covered for employees working at home because the duty will still remain. There may be issues, employees who rent their property, as to uh, whether or not they're permitted to work from home or they're covered. They should probably look at that. And um, employers have to provide a safe environment, a safe place for their workers, and that can extend to the home. We ask all employees to provide their own risk assessment of the workspace. They could look at their home and decide where they're going to work and make that one spot their spot for working. Now, that's, that's for a number of reasons, because we're going to come into issues of confidentiality. We're going to come into all sorts of other issues, uh, data protection, as well as health and safety. Some remote workers are going to work on computers provided by their employers. That's wonderful, because they have antivirus and data protection. Some of them might work on their own computers. Here's where you want to be careful, because you might have confidentiality issues. Google at home risk assessment for, for, for safety, you'll find a number of them. If you can have your employees fill those out, uh, neutralize any hazards, which most typically are going to be electrical wires. If they want to take a photo of their workspace, send that in, that would be helpful. If people have a right to meal and rest breaks in the office, they should have them at home. Some of those people are going to be governed by the Fair Labor Standards Act, and some of them aren't. Now, the Fair Labor Standards Act is a federal law designed to protect people who earn less than about 36,000 pounds a year. Um, 35,568 actually is the, is the number. People, you need to make sure you put something in place. Because for people, who, for employees who are not exempt under the Fair Labor Standards Act, if they work more than 40 hours a week, whether it's at home or in the office, they get to get paid time and a half for every hour over 40 hours a week. You need to construct a, a timekeeping mechanism at home. A lot of the consideration may change state to state. Just be aware and be conscious of where you are and make sure you're consulting with somebody that can guide you for what any exceptions might exist in the state that you are working in.